Hey team. Yeah. Here we are. This is Robbie. You can't quite see him. There he is. This man is the original old school, the Black Prince, the innovator, the instigator. He trained with us. He is. He's the, the grandfather of, of all this. He's been here since day dot. And uh, he's about to uh, probably take my back apart. I just stepped off the plane after about 19 hours in the air. And uh, we're here at Gold's in Venice. And uh, let's go inside and get it on, Robbie. I'd like to look excited to work with you. He's so excited. Good work out. He's speechless. <laughs> Thanks, team. See you later. Bye. So team, I've just been uh, put through the paces by the legend himself, Robbie Robinson, Mr. Old School. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way to do it. The I boss mean, of the art. You're not going to do the old school style, then you're just like wasting your time. Uh -huh. There's no new school. I old school rules. Ah, uh, the old school rules. Old school is tough. Yep. And, I think and that's what a lot of people don't like about old school because it's, it's a lot of discipline. Yes. And if you don't kind of person that can be disciplined and you're not going to be successful. It doesn't come in a bottle, does it? Does, it hey, you got it. It doesn't come in a bottle in a, in a serene. Right. It comes in here working your booty off. Yeah, you have if to you're work. not willing to work, you must stay home. Eat uh, potato chips. I think he got a little bit excited today. I think he enjoyed himself. Do you enjoy yourself, Oh yeah, Robbie? I enjoy doing it. I, I really I like helping people. I think it's great because it's such an art form that everybody's kind of trying to get away, almost like you're trying to get away from it, but it's a beautiful art. Uh -huh. And if you apply all the parts that we're doing here right now, you look incredible. It has nothing to do with that bottle. Uh-huh. Okay? Yeah. I really enjoyed him beating me up. Yep. Right off Thanks, the plane. I appreciate it. Could you uh, show the folks behind your abs? I just want to give them the, the old school evidence. So you got the ad. How old is that man? 72. He's 72 years old. <laughs> Don't tell me you can't do it. 
Yeah. Okay? Because this guy's living proof. Work. You just got to work at it. Bit of discipline. Okay, so thanks for watching, yeah, guys. Thank you. And uh, we're going to produce a video a bit later on, and uh, but that's just us for today. Have it. So thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you, Robbie. No problem at all. Have a good one. surprised there was no microwave well you thought there was going to be one but anyway so what we've done um got to think on your feet just put all of the veg down on um on an oven tray um throwing the chicken on top i have butterflied some of that because it's these things are on steroids and that's not allowed in our game because it's all drug tested i'm going to season that up a little bit with some himalayan salt that we got yesterday in the picket mix so we put some uh, capsicum, mushroom, asparagus, um, red onion. Red onion makes everything pretty much taste pretty good. Just a bit of seasoning. Oh, we're going to get that into an oven. What we did here, um, we got some yams and our sweet potato and some rice. Um, a couple of Yukon gold. <coughs> They're the best potatoes. Um, they taste really good. And um, that's our carbs for um, carving up. We're going to take that with us. I've been relying on stuff. When you're on the road, you can't always guarantee you're going to be able to get stuff. So we have to be able to um, get stuff when we can and prep it as we go. And we have, sometimes we have to prep um, in strange ways. We've done stuff cooked in the bathroom sink and hot water and stuff, boil the jug and cook that way. We've got to always do something different, always uh, adapt and overcome. So. This guy into the oven, this one's going to go on top. Always get a grown up to do this for you if you're a little bit younger. Try not to dump that tray. That's going to go on about three, 350 in the old money. Uh, halve it and minus minus 30 and then halve it. That's 320 is about 175, 200 in, the, um, in Celsius. In the US, I only have it in Fahrenheit. Uh, we're gonna get that on, we'll have a look at that later. And um, go and lie down for a little bit. We'll get ready for the gym a bit later on. Talk to you then. Hey team, welcome back, uh, here for Bioflex Nutrition on the road to the World Championships. You know who this guy is, uh, he just sorted us out and trained us real hard in the gym, we did some back. Um, we learned a lot of stuff, uh, did you enjoy that Charles? Hey, that was the best session I had in a long time, I'm tired. <laughs> Thanks guys, peace out. Hey, hey, how y'all doing, team? I'm here with the real deal, Chris Cormier. Right. You know how that goes. Jeez, look at my face, a little bit sunken in now. Okay, um, we're, we are four days out from the World Championships, and Chris is going to take me apart for some uh, chest and some posing. There's not going to be too much filming while we're doing this, but we're going to check in with you later and see how much more sunk my face is after that. Maybe Chris's face will be sunk in too. That's right. All right. So uh, let's have at it and uh, see you guys real soon let's and if I it. make it, let's, let's go, get it let's on. Go, let's go. So team, we're about halfway through. You might uh, recognize this little machine from uh, Mitsuru Okabe's classic, The yeah. Battle for the Olympia. What year, Chris? Every year. Every year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one of Chris's favorites. We're going to get on and smash this one up. Okay, back soon.
body in place. That's right. Better contraction. Yeah, we just drunk them, but there's technical reasons. Yeah. Okay team, this here, it says posing room, but this is the house of pain right here. This man is about to make me hurt in ungodly ways. Not illegal ways, well in some states, maybe, but. Hud lights, this is the Gold's Gym posing room. See you guys in about half an hour.
<laughs> hey team, back here at Gold's for the World Championships. Um, just hit Delts with the, the real deal, Chris Premier here. I gotta tell you, it's a bit hard, I learned a lot. It's an amazing experience. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, man, you did a great job. Uh, you know, we, we like to hit a session every time we get a chance to work with each other. So, yeah, it's been a pleasure to have you out here in, in uh, California. I hope to see you next time uh, when I'm when I reach out there to uh, to Melbourne. I'll be out there for Arnold Classic, so I hope to get a session with you all. And uh, I'll send this guy back with a few tips, not too many, but a few tips for you guys. Then uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much, Chris. Thank you, bro. It's always good to see you. Hey team. So that was chest and some posing with uh, Chris, the real deal, Cormier, and uh, I'm beat. Good job. That's the first time I trained with you, man. That was, that yeah. was really awesome to be training with you, you know. It's a, it's a really great experience, thank and thank you for all the all the time and effort and, and stuff you spent yeah. with me over the years. You really changed my training and my efforts a lot. I really, really appreciate it. You're, you're very generous. Thank you very, very much. And I hope to see you again soon. For sure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Shit, me trying to blind. I, I, I know, I know, I know. Jesus Christ. I can't even see, right now. Can, can, I can even see me. <laughs> jump, jump right in, jump right in. Turn I can't see nothing. Dude. Turn his ear like that, man. Okay, so <laughs> here with these two legends, guys. If you want to have a Venice experience, you've got to come here and train with these guys. I've had the best time uh, over the years, always meeting up with these guys, and uh, they've been so generous and so, so helpful with my training and stuff. If you get to Venice, or just hey get to Venice you've got to come here and experience this with these guys it's not forever I've got to tell you you're here for a good time not for a long time so get on out here it's uh, it's magic let me tell you one thing if you want it you have the desire we're here for you yeah, thank you very much guys I really appreciate it Peace. physical culture started on this beach on this spot here now, if you can see behind me some people over there on the grass and stuff and um, it's real sunny and real bright here it's California so I like to come down here every time and um, just tune in it's a little bit of old school bodybuilding and um, just feel the vibe. So, just uh, thought I'd share that with you. Come down to my church for a little bit. Have a look around. Nowhere to go, so far from home. This is what giving up feels like. I don't know, I don't know. Tell me, have I lost my mind? So I break these walls and hold my head up high.
We're down here at the end of Santa Monica Pier. We're visiting uh, Big Dean's famous uh, cafe with the shrine to the uh, bodybuilding over the years from when it started and uh, they've been here for a very long time. Uh, let's go inside and I'll just show you a little bit uh, of, of what they've got as a bit of a museum and a monument to uh, bodybuilding history. It's about to go to war I need someone to save me from myself To hear me cry when I call out for help I blame it on the voices that are in my head Wondering if they'll ever be put to bed Feels like I am close to reaching my wits Holding out but I'm about to blow it up like a volcano That's it from me at Gold's. Done some uh, really good sessions here with Chris and Robbie and Charles. I really enjoyed myself and uh, next stop, Mexico. i just really like to um, thank the team that's been behind me this time. Um, it's been great. And the only reason I'm here and looking the way I really believe, um, I've never looked like this before. And um, the only reason I look like this is because of the support that I've had from the team behind me. And I um, just want to say I really appreciate everything that everybody's done. And, um, and I'm ready. So I'll see you guys in Mexico tonight. <laughs> 